Well, I'm back at La Land and in the kitchen about to make a cup of tea. Lancelot is having his breakfast. All is well with the world. And today is a day, and I think this is going to be popular with all of you, that we take the Christmas decorations down. Actually, we usually leave them later than this. We usually leave them towards the end of February. I took my cue from Sandringham where the Queen would leave the Christmas decorations up until early February on the day of her father's death. And my father's birthday was the end of February and I love having the decorations up. So I would leave them as long as possible, but this year I'm just not feeling it. I think it's because it hasn't been that cold, even though today is a spectacularly grey and misty day, but I am ready to leave Christmas behind and start to embrace the spring. Ooh, bread lady's just arrived. I'm going to run out. The bread is here. Life is good. We're really back in France now. Never mind the little Venetian sandwiches. We have proper French bread. I'm very excited because any minute now, Philip will be getting back with Marie. He got up super early this morning after arriving really late last night to go and get her. I vaguely saw him leaving in the mist, but he's made it safely to Limoges. He's collected her and they are on their way back to the chateau. So we'll be able to hear all about her course in Devon and how she got on. And in the meantime, I will show you a few more clips that she had of her time spent there. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. The countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yippee! <laughs> I think someone has missed you a lot <laughs> It's been so long. Oh my goodness, you've grown a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good to be back. And it's good to have you back. Oh, it's warm in here, isn't it? It's nice. Actually, it just hasn't been that cold this winter. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, look at him. It's so cute. <laughs> it's the return of Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> Everyone's together, I'm happy. So is Lancelot. <laughs> Tatinette has made the most beautiful pot au feu. I mean, maybe Tatinette and Stephen, did you make it as well? Of course. Mm -hmm. always. We always cook together, you know that. So it starts with the soup. Pot au feu is one of the classic French dishes. My grandmother always made it. And it's made using several different cuts of beef, cooked in a stock for several hours, three or four hours. Four hours. Four hours. And you generally eat the stock first as a soup, and then you eat everything that's been cooking inside it. Yes, we sell the pasta. <laughs> that's added later. Yes. Maria's showing us how it's usually eaten without the little vermicelli, and we're having it with vermicelli. Oh, that's beautiful. It's very Delicious. good. I'm quite excited to try. Thank you. So it's like Vienna. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the Tafelspitz that you were ordering mm -hmm. all the time in Vienna. <laughs> so good. You cook the meat first yes. with some onion and cloves and a bouquet garni. Then you use two or three different cuts of beef. I always use two and a little piece of uh, veal as well. And that's what um, your mother did? That's, that's what my mother did and I always do it. But when I went to buy it, the butcher said, oh, veal. And I said, yes, it's a family tradition. Mm -hmm. You let it cook for quite a while, an hour, and then you start adding up the vegetables, which are sweet, then carrots, parsnips, leeks, and last, the potatoes, because you don't want them to go too mushy. Now, you can eat your vegetables. You can put a little bit of butter. Oh, I will. And a little bit of balsamic vinegar on mm. top. And the meat, when it's cold, and if you have some left, you can use it like a salad. So do a, a vinaigrette, light vinaigrette, mm. with gherkin. Mm. And it's a little white onion. It's oh, really nice. But <laughs> well, well, I brought out the gherkins anyway, the little onions. Oh, We've got mustard. Mm. It's good to come home to this. Yes. Well, it's, it's always a nice meal when it's chilly outside. It yes. warms you up. Whilst we're taking down the Christmas decorations in the kitchen, my aunt and uncle have been taking down all of these decorations, and now it's just a tree to come down. Feels good, doesn't it? Well, that's one. <laughs> oh, that was a, <laughs> my timing was perfect. There's always one. There's a little clip or something. No, like I, I can lift it about a centimetre. Look at that. That's. There's the two wires. They're on dinner, aren't they? Yeah. 
There, done. It's not that. Does it twist? No, there's a nut here. We've got our best minds you on this. There's a nut. How many men does it take to take a tris Christmas tree uh, apart? I think it's just the, the, the thing of the um, the cap of the. Okay. Shall we just? Shall okay, we... you need a woman. That's what. That's what's going on. I, here I go. Hmm. What is going on in here? And I can't see any obvious buttons, annoyingly. I failed. I was hoping to, like, swoop in and claim all the glory, but I couldn't get it to budge. You're taking the entire piece out. Oh! No. Maybe it doesn't have a top. Maybe the top I doesn't come that out. Is to work. Yeah. Maybe. Is. Maybe that, yeah, that's probably it. That would explain a lot. Right. Well done, Tom Tom Stephen. Glory to you. <laughs> all hail the Christmas tree dismantler. Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do. The time has come to wash the Christmas decorations so that when we pick them up next year they're all nice and clean which means that I need to get washing baubles. That's all the main blue and silver baubles done. So now I'm just going to start washing all of these. And then the fun bit. I always leave the fun bit till last. I'm ending with all of the lovely food things because I'll have so much fun looking at them as I wash them. Look at this speedy, speedy. We're on fire. Quick. Now that we've come back in the car, Thor has been reunited with his favorite perch straight on top of the car again. This is a very good job done. <laughs> I'll take them to the attic. Thanks. Whilst Philip's taking those up, I'm going to go out and see how the chapel restorers are getting on. I think what's going on is that they're moving the posts of the scaffolding so that they can still work on the foundation below. Alors, vous élargissez? On élargit pour. Donc, on a fait un étement pour élargir la. Et l'étement, c'est ça. Alors. Oui. Et ça veut dire que vous pourrez enlever tous ces pieds ici. Et ça marche. C'est sain et sauf. While we're here, I thought I'd look inside. And my uncle and cousin have done an amazing job of clearing the chapel. And Sebastian and his colleague have done a great job of finishing the plastering all along the base of the wall here. And on the other side too. They've done all the way up to the first column. This is amazing. So they just have this side left to do, but whilst the weather allows, they'll be working on the foundation in the meantime. The most extraordinary accomplishment is that Amory and Stephen managed to take the sacristy cupboard out. that it could even come out and apparently they found quite a lot of rot at the base. I've had to switch the flash on my phone so that you can see that. 
So they've had to take lots of bits of wood that were quite rotten at the base. That will have to be completely repaired too. We can see here that in the lower half of this room, they didn't paint any patterns onto the wall. Gosh, that was a nasty bit of rot there. So thank goodness it's out, we can treat everything. But this upper part was painted and all of this is going to be totally repainted thanks to everyone who adopted a star on the ceiling. The entire sacristy will also be done. And interestingly, they didn't carry on the decorative tiles underneath the piece of furniture either. It's just normal terracotta tiles there. And in front of the cupboard, that's when the lovely, beautiful tiling starts. And when they've finished completely in the chapel, which should be by the end of this week, they're going to put up more scaffolding here. This, in fact, is why Amory and Stephen moved everything out, so that there'll be scaffolding coming all the way along so that the paint restorers can just get to every part of the chapel. And they should be starting in about three weeks, so it's a very exciting time at the moment. Well, merci. <laughs> This is only my favourite meal. <laughs> now, I've been heard to say that about other meals before, but actually, I do think that pommes de terre à l'étouffé, which is exactly this, these potatoes, that is my favourite food. <laughs> do I give you some onions? Yes, please, that'll be lovely. Yes, and we're having a hamburger. Oh, cheers. Welcome. Welcome back oh, home. Thank you. Oh. Yay. Bienvenue. And where the reviews? To the sweet <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What's happened to you? Oh, that's lovely. It's a new year. Bonjour les villages. Oui, il est très bon. What is happening here, sir? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so I'm here with some port enthusiasts. Oh, Hello, yeah. port enthusiasts. Hello. We are in... The foodies. <laughs> and in Porto, we did a wine tasting. Uh, well, port tasting rather. Yeah, with and Oliver on the on the yes, other channel. Exactly. Travels with my friend. And the owner gave us this bottle of 2003 Neaport. He was lovely. It was wonderful. And this is actually our favourite. And he is Mr. Neaport. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is our favourite. So I thought who'd better to open it than with... Than with the port enthusiasts. Exactly. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>